Welcome top news today. While an unskeptical political media with rare and great exceptions fell for Donald Trump's extended mental stability photo op Tuesday, Trump's own communications team appears to understand what a disaster it really was. The 55-minute televised portion of the bipartisan meeting on immigration was a naked attempt to quell concerns about Trump's mental fitness, but it backfired when he had to be reminded of his own policy positions. One spectacular example was this exchange with Sen. Dianne Feinstein DCA, in which she asks Trump if he would be agreeable to a clean Dacabill HTTP show blue doc comp content uploads 201801 Trump's attempt to prove stability backfires as Gofisto explain his own position to him. MP4 Feinstein would you be agreeable to that? Trump yeah, I would like, I would like to do that. But when the White House released its official transcript of the meeting, that line from Trump was nowhere to be found. It was only after getting busted for the omission that a corrected transcript was released, 17 hours later. It would be easier to chalk this up as an accidental omission if not for the fact that the line exposes Trump's manifest ignorance about his own policy positions, and if this were not part of a long-standing pattern for this White House. When they're not making up alternative facts, they're just disappearing the ones they don't like. Sometimes, the alterations to official transcripts are seemingly trivial, yet illustrative. In July, the White House altered an official briefing transcript to stroke Trump's ego by inflating his dubious golf skills. Also in July, though, the White House made a much more significant omission from a transcript of an Air Force One gaggle. Trump told reporters that he may have been told about the Trump Tower collusion meeting, but maintained he wasn't aware of the subject matter, according to a New York Times reporter among PTSWH emitted. Purple Trump said of junior MTG in fact maybe it was mentioned at some point but he WASNT told it was Abd HRC. Julie Davis at Julie Davis July 13, 2017 Trump has never been asked publicly to reconcile that bombshell revelation, although it will surely come up when he sits down to face special counsel Robert Mueller. And from that same gaggle, the White House omitted Trump's remarks about DACA, reportedly at the urging of White House senior advisor and perennial cable news embarrassment Stephen Miller. But those remarks had already been published via a pool report. Censoring official White House transcripts is just one of many ways in which this administration betrays the free press, but it is a particularly audacious one that asks the American people to believe the lying president, rather than their own eyes and ears.